Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take 5 raised to the power 6 to the left hand side. That is, we have x raised to the power 6 minus 5 raised to the power 6 equals to 0 here. Then this also can be written as x raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2 minus 5 raised to the power 3, 4 raised to the power 2 equals to zero here and this follows when we have a square minus b square which can be written as a plus b into brackets open brackets a minus b this here a standing as x raised to power 3 and b standing as 5 raised to power 3 then what we have here follow this and becomes x raised to power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 into bracket, open bracket, x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3, close bracket, equals to 0 here. Then, this here we have two cases. The first one, x raised to the power 3 plus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. Or we have x raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 equals to 0 here. That is this side solving when we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3. This can be written as a plus b into brackets, then open bracket a square minus ab plus b square. Then here, what we have becomes x plus 5 into brackets. Open bracket x square minus 5x plus 5 square close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have x plus 5 into bracket open bracket x square minus 5x plus 5 square that's 25 close bracket equals to 0 here. Then here we have two possible cases as well. x plus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared minus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then solving on this side, we have x equals to 5 minus 5 rather, which is a real solution here. Then here we have a quadratic equation where a equals to 1, b equals to minus 5, and c equals to 25. Then apply the quadratic formula, which is x equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Then here we have x equals to minus minus 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 over 2 times 1. At this here we have x equals to equals to minus times minus is plus we have 5 plus or minus square root of minus 5 squared that's 25 minus 4 times 1 times 25, we can still write it as 4 times 25, then over 2 here. So this, here we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 is common here, we have 25 into bracket 1 minus 4 left over 2 here, which implies we have x equals to 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times 1 minus 4 minus 3 over 2. Then when we separate this to 25, that's 5, we take it away. x equals to 5 plus or minus 5, root minus 3 is root 3 high, then over 2. That is, here we have two complex solutions here. Then, Solving from the second case here, this also follows when we have a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3. 
which can be written as a minus b into brackets, open bracket a square plus a b plus b square. At this here, all we have becomes x minus 5 into brackets, open bracket x square plus 5x plus 5 square plus brackets equals to 0 here. At this this same thing as x minus 5 into brackets, open brackets, x squared plus 5x plus 5 squared 25 plus brackets equals to 0 here. At this here, we have two possible cases. The first one, x minus 5 equals to 0. Or we have x squared plus 5x plus 25 equals to 0 here. Then, solving on this side, we have x equals to 5, which is also a resolution here. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are a equals to 1, b equals to 5, and c equals to 25. Then, applying quadratic formula, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared minus 4 times 1 times 25 over 2 times 1, which implies we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 squared, that's 25 minus 4 times 1 times 5, can still be written as 4 times 25, then over 2. Then, here we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus Square root of 25 is common here. We have 25 into brackets. 1 minus 4 left here over 2. That is, we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 25 times 1 minus 4 minus 3 over 2. That is, from here, root 25 is 5. We take it out and we have x equals to minus 5 plus or minus 5. Root minus 3 is root 3i. Then over 2. Also, here we have two complex solutions here. And therefore, all together in this problem, we have six solutions here. Two resolutions here. Two complex solutions here. And two complex solutions here and thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and your comment see you next time bye for now